The Black Feather Poets are an arts-based literacy organization dedicated to helping the youth of Alaska. As a collection of poets, dancers, and musicians from across the country, we strive to make positive changes in the lives and communities of those in need. In August of 2009, as part of their Reasons to Live campaign, the Black Feather Poets flew north to Barrow, Alaska at the invitation of the North Slope Mayor's Office and Health Department. Barrow, and many of Alaska's remote communities share some of the highest rates of suicide, depression, and abuse in the nation. With a population of only 4,000, each and every person in the Barra community is affected by the occurrence of these tragedies. The Blackfeather Poets' Reasons to Live campaign was developed to provide positive messages to troubled youth about suicide prevention and stopping violence. Through a combination of performances, youth workshops, and creative public service announcements airing statewide, the Reasons to Live campaign promotes the values of healthy choices, good morals, and unity to the young people of all Alaska. Life sometimes is harder than it seems. Still, young one, you must remember to dream. After arriving in Barrow, the Blackfeather Poets immediately set to work getting to know the people and community which so graciously hosted us. We were most impressed to learn about the rich history of the Inupiaq people and how their heritage still plays such a vital role in modern life. Instead of us describing what we learned, we present to you some comments from the people of Barrow about their history and their present, their joys and their challenges. So you're from Barrow? Born and raised here. Born and raised. Awesome. Yeah. So um, what do you remember? Can you tell us what Barrow was like when you were a kid? Right now, where we are at, it was this was, it was all tundra. All of this, this, this was all tundra. This is where we used to go bird hunting. With duck. Bear had about a population of about 900 people in when I was growing up. There was no roads, no gravel roads. They built the roads in 1961. Growing up, we didn't care about cash. We didn't know anything about cash or money. You know, we, we, our, we were trying to survive. Did you like that lifestyle? It was great, simple, great, and it was the best. Yeah, yeah. there was no rich and poor. It was just everybody was equal because everybody was. They were. We eat the same food. We hunt. We share everything. It, it was a very good life. It it's changed a lot from from then to now <laughs> because. Even though we were poor, we were never hungry. We never had, you know, material things, and that was a big mistake. That's just material stuff. Um, our parents taught us good values. Um, don't steal. Um, don't be prejudiced. That's a way we should treat each other as human beings. I think um, when we were shipped out to a different school, that's when the um, problem started. We discontinued our language. That's where the family core broke. When I was growing, I've lived here all my life, and what we grew up with were things that were simple. We didn't have the iPods, the Xboxes, the uh, Red Bull, all these things that seem to be pop culture today. I mean, pop culture for me back then was getting in a boat and going hunting. We're kind of losing our culture as like technology advances. Because everybody just gets uh, like zoned out on the media and um, when some people need to be talked to, I think that's where most of the depression comes from, is the media. The children, the youth have changed a lot. Um, they understand that their traditions and their values are very important. And for a long time they didn't because a lot of the kids didn't have mentors. Maybe they didn't have relatives at the time that were clean and sober to be able to get the kids involved and for them to reconnect with their Inupia values. Um, a couple of my friends here didn't make so good choices and uh, committed suicide. 
and it wasn't just here in Barrow, it was also in the city. And I know a lot of people have committed suicide or gone into violence. I think it's affected me a lot. And also other people, like their relatives and their friends. In one way, shape, or form, every family has been devastated, whether they abuse alcohol or drugs or not. Mm -hmm. There are individuals, young and old, that are committing suicide. And it stems from uncertainty, hopelessness. I, um, I'm still a bit in shock about the one that happened not too long ago. And the reason I'm in shock about that is because the young man that shot his girlfriend and shot himself, I had just seen in court the day before. And I would not have known that that was going to happen. Uh, I just wouldn't have known. It has happened in our family, yes. And it, it's uh, I open with that. You know, sometimes you feel like it can't happen to you as a family, but it did. It got us closer, and it made us realize that we need to get even more closer and start listening to our young people and support them. The more you talk about it and what, what's going on, why do you feel this way? If we can get them to talk about it, then maybe we'll have a better chance of, of talking them through it or letting them see that their life has a tremendous amount of value. You know, if I think I think just just listening to the kids and, and understanding that the pressures that they they feel, whether an adult feels that they're real or not, they're real to them, very real. The Blackfeather poets were grateful to have the community open up so much to us, but we weren't just there to learn. Not more than an hour after we were on the ground, the Blackfeather poets visited Keita Learning Center, where we met and performed for some of the students. That evening, a community potluck was held by Inupiat Teens Taking Control, a native Alaskan youth organization in Barrow. People of the community, both young and old, showed up to welcome the Blackfeather poets as guests, and the night was filled with poetry, dancing, and song. The next day, workshops were held for the community, in which people ages 4 to 70 participated in hands-on interactive games, dance, and discussion. The evening ended with a community performance by the Blackfeather poets at the Barrow High School Auditorium. The Blackfeather poets felt that our work in Barrow went well and was well received, but we were concerned about how our work might be perceived being that the subject matter is so personal and we were strangers to the community we were working in. We asked some of the people in Barrow what they thought about what the Blackfeather poets were doing and how we were going about it. I think with your group coming up here, it's excellent. Um, getting young people excited about their different things that you can do as young people. I think what you're doing is great. That's the first step. Yeah, that's what these youth, I think, needs is someone to talk with, someone to encourage them, someone to let them know that they're there. It was inspiring to see that uh, there are different types of uh, medium, if you will, that are being used to explore an alternative um, of probably finding some talent that our young kids may have, whether it be song, poet, or anything that can, you know, bring their their being out mm -hmm. uh, rather than what's on TV. I like your program. I think you're doing a good job. I would hope that you would keep going out to the smaller places, uh, not just Barrow, but hopefully maybe out to a village or two. I think it's really important to to have every place involved. You guys are doing a great job, like 
even though that you guys aren't here from here like I feel a lot of warm feelings around you guys that you guys are wanting to help us and awesome right. it's very good I I think uh, that's how we survived as in the bills. we danced and we laughed and we shared you know that that was part of our culture and anywhere and anywhere I think as human beings we need that laughter and um, the dances and the music and so uh, I am so uh, glad that you came here to help the young people do you have any advice for us you know? just be yourself spread what you're spreading and that's yeah. good get children young people involved in feeling good about themselves and just have fun Thanks. our stay in barrow was fantastic but we feel we have more to do more to learn and more to share we thank you in advance for your consideration of the programs and services that the blackfeather poets have to offer